Good morning and welcome to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at MarketSite is Blaine Aiken. He's the Executive Chairman of CFIX. Thank you very much for joining us at MarketSite. Lots of acronyms in this industry. <laughs> there are There indeed. are. Yeah. So tell us about CFIX and what its mission is. Sure, I'd be happy to. So essentially, CFIX exists to promote and verify conformity to high standards of professional conduct. The, the idea is basically that individual and institutional investors should have confidence in the uh, trustworthiness of those firms and um, that they rely upon, the firms and the individuals that they rely upon. So essentially what we do is use published standards of conduct. We assess against those and the, those firms that are found to be conforming. We'll certify them and register them to a public database at uh, cfex.org. So what type of firms and individuals would be registered by CFIX? Is it just registered investment advisors? And then um, why does it matter to have this designation? Sure. So there's essentially three types of firms. Uh, investment advisors is the primary one, but there's also service providers, and that would include investment managers, uh, third-party administrators, record keepers. And then the third category would be what we call stewards, and those are retirement plans or foundations and endowments, that type of firm. And so there's right now about 200 firms that are certified. Uh, they're in six different countries and they qualify for about $250 billion of assets that's, that they're responsible for. Really important to have them certified because this is a, a way to not only cut compliance and regulatory risks, but it also distinguishes the firms in the marketplace besides giving that confidence to the uh, individual and institutional investors. So is this a one-stop process once you're registered with CFIX or is it continual? It's continual uh, and in fact I would actually call it a three-step process. The, at the first part would be that pre-certification preparation and that can be done uh, by the firm itself uh, because we do publish the standards uh, but it could also be done with the assistance of uh, an accredited investment fiduciary. Then there's the certification and then finally uh, there is that annual review. Let's talk about the Department of Labor. How does its fiduciary role play into this? Right, so regula regulations as a whole do come into play because it is a part of this. The, the practices are always substantiated and the certifications are substantiated in law, regulation, and best practices. But the DOL is particularly important because the DOL has come out with the fiduciary rule. It's in place in core ways. And among the things that are required there are what they call impartial conduct standards. So an investment advisor certification comes with a legal opinion that indicates that the, uh, the firm is complying with impartial conduct standards, which are a core obligation under the rule. All right, and to wrap up, where can people go to learn more about the key to compliance? Yeah, I'd give you three places. FI360.com, which is the parent company for CFEX. CFEX.org, which is very important. That has all of the information about certification. And then the third piece is we have a webinar coming up uh, this Thursday at 1.30. That's on the 1st of February, and, and you could register there for uh, at CFEX.org. It's about that DOL rule and the impartial conduct standards and how the certifications come into play. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure and to be thank with you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.